touch the salt, please. Salt? But we haven't even started eating yet. Not for eating. Kitty wants to get rid of this. <laughs> oh no, salt's a bad idea. It could make things worse. Well, before I grab something to safely remove it, let's first find out what happens when a leech bites you. Zoom in! Leeches are squishy, stretchy and slightly creepy worms with two suckers. One at the front near the mouth for feeding and one at the back for gripping. But despite their simple appearance, they possess multiple brains, hundreds of tiny teeth and even the ability to sense heat and movement. While they have a reputation for drinking blood, most of the 650 species prefer a less dramatic diet of tiny creatures and decaying matter. But a select few they are the thrill seekers of the leech world, willing to take a daring bite out of mammals, including humans. Let's find out how they do it. You see, leeches are highly sensitive to heat, movement and chemicals like carbon dioxide from breathing, which helps them detect potential hosts. Some especially aquatic leeches actively swim toward a target, while land leeches crawl toward warm-blooded animals. Once a leech finds a suitable spot, it anchors itself with the sucker at its rear end for stability. It then releases an anesthetic compound to numb the area, ensuring you don't feel pain as its three sharp jaws slice into the skin, creating a small incision. Next, the leech must prevent the blood from clotting, so its salivary glands secrete herutin, an anticoagulant that keeps the blood flowing as the leech rhythmically sucks it out. During a single feeding session, a leech can consume up to 10 times its body weight in blood. After about 20 to 40 minutes of feeding, the leech naturally detaches from the skin, leaving behind a small bleeding wound due to the lingering anticoagulants in the bloodstream. While the bleeding stops, after a few hours, you may notice redness, swelling and itching at the bite site. Some people may also experience mild pain or warmth in the affected area. But for healthy individuals, a single leech bite is generally harmless. In fact, leeches are even used in medical therapy to improve blood circulation and aid in healing. However, that doesn't mean there are no risks. In rare cases, a leech bite can lead to an infection often marked by increased redness, warmth and pus formation. Leeches can also carry bacteria in their gut, which may contaminate the wound and potentially transmit an infection. This risk increases if a leech regurgitates its stomach contents, often filled with germ-laden blood, into the wound. This can happen if you try to remove a leech by squeezing, burning or using other aggressive methods like sprinkling salt. Additionally, if someone is bitten by a large number of leeches at once, excessive blood loss could occur, particularly if they have underlying health conditions or are in a remote area without medical assistance. If you ever find a leech too attached to you, use a clean fingernail, credit card or similar flat object 
to gently slide under its mouth and detach it. Once the front sucker is loose, do the same for the rear sucker. After removal, clean the bite with soap and water. Apply an antiseptic and monitor for signs of infection. And for extreme cases, seeking immediate medical attention is crucial. Trivia time! Did you know leeches have a segmented nervous system with 32 mini brains, technically ganglia, spread throughout their body? Also, blood sucking leeches have three jaws, each lined with tiny sharp teeth up to 300. Sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Adarshini Hazarika. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. All right, kitty, hold still. I'll get that leech off. Wait, don't remove it. Why not? It's free therapy. Never mind.